Yo, top of the morning to you, wealth champions. Y'all know what it is, man. It is time for the Daily Hustle with yours truly, the one and only financial health mentor, everybody's favorite fatherpreneur from wealthcreationplaybook.com. And it is Thursday, December 19th, man, 2019. Man, where is this year gone? Where has this decade gone? Are you guys ready for a brand new decade, a brand new year? Let me talk to you real quick about the will of God, right? I was sitting with uh, my mom not long ago. Some of you guys know that my mom is a, a minister uh, of the gospel. And uh, she gave me some quotes and some scriptures. And she's always speaking life into my life and over my life. And she was telling me, about uh and basically she was just blessing my business for the coming year and the coming decade and 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 helping me to understand some things that i should be doing spiritually to continue my growth and it's going to bleed into my natural reality into my emotional world into my physical world and she said something that hit me like a ton of bricks she said the will of god is voice activated and I want y'all to get that, man, because we are in the uh, day and age of artificial intelligence, right? We are in the day and age of voice command everything, right? Hey, Siri. Hey, Google, right? Hey, Alexa, do this, do that, right? But understand. There's another name that you should be calling on, right? If you want things to line up in your life. What would you say if I told you that all the universe knows how to do is say yes? I'm gonna run that one back. What, if you, what would you say if I told you that all the universe knows how to do is say yes? Did you believe that? Question becomes then, what are you giving it to say yes to? See, if the will of God is voice activated, and I, and I believe this to be true, because we know uh, that life and death lies in the power of the tongue. We know that you have the ability to speak. We know that thoughts are things, right? Words are commands. We know that words have power, right? So what are you saying about yourself to yourself that's creating the present day reality that you're living in, right? See, the reason that, that the will of God is, is, is voice activated is because before you would even venture to let something come out of your mouth, you have to first believe it. On some level, there has to be some belief. I remember the first time I let the words billionaire and I come out of this, uh, uh, come out in the same sentence. I, I'm going to be a billionaire by 2027, right? And the first time it came out of my mouth, uh, someone else overheard me saying that and they kind of chuckled, right? And and they looked at my eyes after they chuckled and they realized that I was serious. <laughs> and, and this person is someone who is, is near and dear to my heart. And I know he wasn't laughing at me. It was just a natural response when someone says something and reveals a vision so grand, right? Um, and then I start saying it regularly and I start saying it every day. And I, I start really allowing it to drive my behaviors, right? See, all the universe knows how to say yes. And if you, what, what you're giving it to say yes to is the problem because you would say stuff like, man, I'm so dumb. And the universe says, yes, you are. <laughs> and then within minutes, it reveals to you something that validates that thing which you just said. I want y'all to start paying attention to this. You say, oh man, I'm so silly. I'm so stupid. Oh, that was so dumb of me. And the universe says, yes, it was. 
And then moments later, you take another step forward and then you run into something that confirms that thing which you just said. See, God wants us to have the desires of our hearts. And sometimes because of our childhood upbringing, sometimes because of some of the things that other people spoke into our lives when we were children, we believed those things because the person doing the speaking had some sort of authority in our lives. And we've carried those things through to our adulthood. I wanna challenge you today, my friend, start paying very close attention to the words that you let come out of your mouth, but more importantly, to the words that you let come out of your spirit. So there's a difference. There's the words that come out of my mouth. You guys are hearing those right now. But before they come out of my mouth, they actually come out of my spirit into my mind, and then I speak them out of my mouth. The, the worst conversation that most of us are having is the conversation we have with ourselves from our spirit, but it never comes out of our mouth. We are just walking around and we're talking to ourselves mentally and we're beating ourselves up. We're beating ourselves down. We're, we're afraid to allow ourselves to think and to speak. We are angry. We are internalizing a lot of junk. And the universe is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. You'll never be great. Yep, you said that you'll never uh, uh, be financially stable. That is true. Yep, you keep saying that you'll never find a good man. You're right. I'm going to keep sending you these deadbeats. You're saying that your kids are dumb. Yep, I'm going to send you something that proves that your kids are dumb so you can continue to validate that thought over and over and over and over again. But if you switch that thing up, man, that's why affirmations are so powerful if done correctly, you switch that thing up and you start talking to yourself about how great you are. You start venturing off into your future and seeing a better place for you and describing that place back to yourself. You start saying that you can do that. You will do this. You are an amazing entrepreneur. You are a great husband. You are a great wife. Your children are intelligent. And you start speaking life and every time a negative thought comes into your mind, you must not only get rid of that negative thought, you must get rid of it and replace it with its opposite and positive counterpart, right? See, a lot of times we will have a negative thought and we will not think on it and we'll get rid of it, but we won't replace it, right? And then you know the deal with covering up a black wall with white paint, right? It takes twice as much, three times as much, four times as much. So what I do when I have a negative thought, I kick it out and then I repeat something positive three, four, five, six times, right? But here's the key. Here's the key to speaking this, this life. It says, uh, this is Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. It says, your subconscious mind recognizes and acts only upon thoughts which have been well mixed with emotion or feeling. You will get no appreciable results until you learn to reach your subconscious mind with thoughts or spoken words which have been well emotionalized with belief. So when I say I'm going to be a billionaire by 2027, I have to say that with a certain amount of, of emotional charge so that it resonates and reverberates through my subconscious mind because my subconscious mind is what's going to go to work while I'm sleeping and it's actually going to begin to move the entire universe and bend the entire universe to my will to start helping me make the right connections and the right thought processes, the right things come across my path that's going to help get me there. What are you saying to yourself and about yourself? The will of God is voice activated, man. Be careful about what you are saying to yourself and about yourself and the words that you allow that come out of your mouth, but more importantly, the words that you allow to come out of your spirit. And when you're practicing speaking over your life, do it with emotion. Do it with feeling. Let yourself know that you are great. You are worthy. Because it's the emotionally charged 
cause to action. It's the emotional free charge. Things that you are speaking and believing about yourself that's resonating and building this new world that you want to live in. So always remember the words of God, the will of God. His voice activated. Yeah, you can call on Siri for certain things. Yeah, you can call on Google for certain things. Yeah, you can say, hey, Alexa, turn on the lights. Better know how to call on the, the creator of this whole thing, man, and do it with emotionally filled words and then give thanks that it's already done. Hopefully this wasn't too heavy for you guys, man. And if you got any value out of it whatsoever, I want you to do me a huge, huge, huge favor. Go ahead and hit the like button on this page, first and foremost. Then hit the like button uh, on the actual video. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you can get the notification when I go live uh, with these videos every morning. But also, I do tons of training, tons of, of, of motivation, encouragement, tons of, tons of skill set stuff that you guys will absolutely love and if you really 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 got something out of it go ahead and hit the share button my friend share it with somebody who is speaking death over their lives share it with somebody who don't know that the will of god is voice activated right and that they should be speaking life in and about themselves in and about their children right this could help change someone's whole entire world uh also if you are trying to set a financial uh, resolution and you need a game plan, I want you to download my free ebook, Wealth Creation Playbook. Uh, it's an amazing uh, tale of the six uh, wealth killers that's keeping you broke no matter how hard you work. And then you also get my video series on uh, how to give yourself an instant pay raise, a secret that your employer does not want you to know. Go download that and check it out today, man. It'll bless your life. So I'll talk to you guys next time. I want you to get your money up. Oh, I guess I better tell you where to go download it from. Go to wealthcreationplaybook.com to download those things. Um, so get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.